Reorganizing the living room, everybody. Good job, hon. We're just doing what we do here. Just feeling like we got six people now. Six people in the house. We gotta pull this table out of this kitchen. We gotta find some more room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and Papa needs to go organize some running shoes. That is my mission today. I did already run today. What was it? Uh, about 13 and a half miles, about 7.15 a mile. Feeling good, Hoka Carbon X2, uh, full review coming at you very soon. Also, if you missed yesterday's live stream, there we go. We opened up those boxes right there. So, um, all right, where's my coffee? Actually, this, this is out the window. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Oh, you did it. Money? $25,000. Because you don't buy a new house? Hey, Baba. You don't need a renovation. One shoe, one shoe. I only can pick one. What will it be, everybody? Okay, let's start loading. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Tuesdays with true love coming right at you. I just got to catch my breath. Oh, man. There's a lot. There's a lot of shoes going on up in here. All right, let's go get true love. Oh, my. Okay. It is warm out. Boy, feels like summer. All right, we got them in first load. I'm not gonna get all the shoes in today, not enough time, but I just wanna chat real quick about what is the game plan here, just so we're all on the same page. The reason I'm, I opted for, one of the reasons I opted for the storage unit versus some people said, Seth, you should expand the studio. You should uh, build a shed in your backyard. And those are great ideas. First of all, doing an expansion to the studio would be a little, little pricey. And the shed in the backyard, um, I want the shoes to be protected from the elements. In fact, the shoes have been sitting out for about a week now in the cold temperatures at night. I can already feel some of the midsoles going dead. So I don't like that. And I know some sheds you can buy are insulated, uh, but, Again, I don't know how much those cost, so I, that is one of the reasons I'm opting for a climate-controlled storage unit, like you see right here. Also, um, some people are saying, Seth, why don't you give all the shoes away? And that's a great idea. I love that. That's why we do the Sharing Our Shoes program. But first of all, I, the question of the day, like five days ago, six days ago, what shoe iterate, what shoe model do you want me to hold on to 
forever and ever and ever so that we can, can compare uh, one iteration to the next. One of the most popular answers to that QD was the ASICS Glide Ride. And guess, just so you know, the ASICS Glide Ride 2 is going to be showing up sooner rather than later. Stay tuned for that. So that is another reason I'm keeping the shoes. Also, if I were to donate some of these shoes, which again, I love that idea, um, eventually, it could be six months, it could be 12 months, it could be 24 months. Those shoes are going to end up in the landfill, right? You don't keep your shoes forever and ever and ever. So by keeping the shoes in here, in essence, in my mind, I'm preserving the shoes for a long, long, long time. For example, the Pegasus, we've got the 35, the 36, the 37, and sooner rather than later, the 38. So we're just gonna be able to compare the different models. Does that make sense? So that's why I'm doing this. That's why, uh, anyway, I just wanna be on the same page. I'm not trying, trust me, I'm not a hoarder. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like a lot of stuff. Um, it was, you know, it, was, it took me like six months to come to this point. That's why I had the shoes in the studio all summer long during the warmer temperatures. But again, now that it's cold, it's time to get organized. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's see here. Oh, okay. It feels so great. Get the lock out here. Okay, here we go. Forgot to mention, we're gonna put shelving units in the storage unit. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna label, of course, A through Z, A6 all the way up to I don't know Skechers and is there anything uh, past Skechers? Also, so A6 to there, and then um, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna divide it out, of course, between road and trail, similar to how we do the running shoe rotations. And it's so nice to be able to get into the studio without leaping over a pile of shoes and just to start a fresh in here with no shoes so that I can be strategically organized and just frankly mentally clear as we transition, yeah crazy, from the 2020 running shoe class to the 2021 running shoe rotation that yes, are gonna be uh, actually, well, even just this past week, the Hoka Mach 4, that's a 2021 shoe. It's not available yet, but they're already starting to pop up in the running shoe marketplace. So it's nice to be here. And yes, I'm looking at the shoe, the one shoe. So this came up on Twitter two weeks ago. Sorry, I forget your name. A gentleman tweeted at me and he said, Seth, if you could only pick one shoe out of all of your shoes to keep and you had to give all of the rest away which shoe would you keep okay that was the question so thank you for the question it's kind of the uh spark for this vlog here today and frankly sir you help spark uh inspire me to get the shoes organized and get them out the door and get them into that storage unit so that we can preserve them for the long haul so thank you you know who you are actually let me know in the comments if you're watching i hope you are okay so here we go. I do road running, I do trail running. I do road racing, I do trail racing. But I'm not afraid to pick one shoe, even though they're really two, frankly, different types of classes of shoes, okay? But I'm not afraid to pick one. That's point number one. Point number two, uh, just to give you a little hint as to which shoe I'm not gonna pick, I don't like to train in carbon fiber plate running shoes. Personally, I have found that carbon fiber plates are a little too rigid. Some of them, some I should qualify, okay? Are a little too rigid and frankly can change my gait cycle just a little bit okay and because i i train in so many different shoes i can feel the nuance between a carbon fiber plate shoe for example right now i'm testing the hoka carbon x2 and i can really feel the difference between the carbon x2 and the hoka mach 4 okay so also i don't like to train in carbon fiber plate shoes because i like to arrive on the starting line without that added um, bonus in the training so that when I do start racing and let it rip and rock and roll on race day, it's like a little extra boost through that gait cycle that is just, mwah, it's amazing, okay? So that's the other reason I don't train in carbon fiber plate shoes because when you put them on your feet, it's really special. Unless, of course, I'm trying to get a shoe to 50 miles like I'm doing right now with the Hoka Carbon X2. 
So, also, um, the shoe, and I'm looking at it, the shoe that I chose is, the reason I went with it is because it can accomplish so many different tasks within the rotation, uh, sorry, within your training regimen, and I should probably just tell you which one it is. I'm trying to think what else. Um, it's lightweight. I actually forget exactly. I think it's around seven ounces. It's either just under or just over. I actually, am a, I'm a, I don't know. I don't remember because it's been a little while. Let's just let you know. It is, if I could only pick one shoe to keep in the running shoe rotation at this point, okay? And okay, I'm not going to, this is 2021. It would not be fair to all of you because it's not available yet to, to pick this shoe. But I'll just tell you, this is this guy's this guy's gonna make a running for this question here in about six months. So we're gonna put the Hoka Mach 4 down. Instead, it is the Saucony Endorphin Speed. There it is, Saucony. In fact, I'm gonna this guy is not going in the storage unit. We're gonna put this guy right there for now. Saucony Endorphin Speed. And yes, just to refresh our memory. I, ah, I wish I could, rem I should have remembered this, but I wanted to give you my gut reaction right now together in the studio. 7.4, okay? The reason I went, so a little over seven ounces, the reason, well, I guess almost seven and a half. The reason I went with the Endorphin Speed and not, for example, the Asics Nova Blast is the Asics Nova Blast is around like 8.5 ounces in my size. So I love the Nova Blast, love the ride, love the bounce of the Nova Blast, but this guy is almost a half an ounce lighter. Now, challenge me here. Um, two, oh gosh, I got so many, so many thoughts. The reason I didn't go with the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, which is 6.6 .6 ounces, almost, uh, almost an ounce lighter, not quite 0.8 ounces lighter, is that the midsole stack height and frankly, the energy return that I feel in the endorphin speed versus the Brooks Hyperion Tempo is not is not there. Also, the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, I wouldn't love running in that shoe for a long run. Whereas this guy, it's just you can do a long run, you can do a middle distance run, and because of that energy return and that just responsiveness, also a tempo day, okay? Also, also, you could do a half marathon race. You could do a full marathon race. You could do a 10K and a 5K race. I would probably opt for something else, but if I could only pick one shoe, it would be the Saucony Endorphin Speed. Now, as far as the road versus trail, now, this obviously outsole, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to take on a trail if you, if you didn't have to, but frankly, you get some okay grip there on that outsole. Bottom line, for overall training, overall racing, Saucony Endorphin Speed is looking like it might be the shoe of the year, 2020. Saucony, great work. And yes, question of the day, hit it up. By the way, we have a new emoji, colon, Q-O-D, colon. And this is what will show up on your screen, colon, Q-O-D, colon. That will give you the, the, the cutie emoji down in the comments. Thanks for hitting it up. If you could only pick one shoe to keep in your running shoe rotation right now, which would it be and why? Thanks for hitting it up. Thanks for being here. Very, very, very difficult decision here, but I'm glad I went out on a limb and chose the Saucony Endorphin Speed, and I wish I could train in this shoe more, but of course, we got more shoes to keep testing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching here in the studio, and uh, whoo, whoo, we, man, feels good to, have some peace of mind in here and to get ready for the next round. Actually, yep, yep, for the next round. All right, we'll toss it to, well, we'll toss it to the Saucony Endorphin Speed full review right there, right there. Saucony Endorphin Speed full review right there, right there. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.